Hello, everyone. My name is Kun Ping Huang. Uh, it's my honor to introduce my study. Uh, the, the topic is microwave annealing for semiconductor. Uh, so my online, I will talk about the characteristic and the breakthrough. Uh, and the next is the industri industrial value. And the, and the final, I will talk about the future development, development and the application potential. OK, so um, for dopant activation uh, topic uh, in traditional most structure. So uh, the gate length is, uh, 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 is, uh, is from 90, 90 nanometer uh, and uh, progress uh, into the one nanometer. So the diffusion, diffusion length in, for country uh, now the generation is almost in three nanometer generation. The diffusion is almost zero. So in the future, so the, 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 micro, the dopant activation will get in hard and harder because the, the annealing temperature currently is, uh, is above 900 degrees C. So it's very easy to make the dopant diffusion. Okay, so in the future, we, this is the reason why uh, we, we develop a microwave annealing process because the microwave annealing uh, can the the annealing temperature is, is almost a half of a traditional annealing process. So this slide I will talk about the calculator and the realistic and the breakthrough. So the first uh, technology I will talk about the spatial model diversification te technique. So we use the long, long, longitudinal and the transverse mode to increase the, the, the mode number. So, and uh, we also use the even and odd mode uh, to in increase the mode number. So in, the, in such kind technology, we increase four times the mode number. We know the, the more the, the more, more, more the number, we will get the uh, higher uniformity. OK. So uh, my next te technology, I will talk about the, the, the time phase coupling technology. OK. So for, for <coughs> how do we in increase the, <coughs> the more the number in, in the power supply? So in, in microwave, microwave transmitter, uh, we, we use the half wave neg negative power supply of a transmitter. So if we enlarge the cap capacitor, so it will make the overlapped coupling microwave. So, the, so, it's ca so such kind of a technology, it, it can increase two times more the number. So, so if we combine the spatial di diversified technology and the time phase coupling technology. So we can increase eight times the uh, uh, microwave model number. So it, so it can, it can in increase the, uh, the, uni the uniformity of uh, a leading very well. So, so, so in country, a uh, country uh, now the most structure uh, uh, is progress into the get all around structure. So uh, um, if we continue use the RTA annealing pro pro te technology, it will make the dopant diffusion. So in uh, in the in the in, in the in the figure we can see if the uh, even the RTA annealing annealing temperature is below to, below to, <coughs> below to 700 degrees C. So in, in this case, we only use the six, six, 600 degrees. It's, it will make the dopant, 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 dopant diffusion into the division area, which, which will, make, will make the device failed. But uh, um, if we use the microwave annealing, the annealing temperature is only only 390 degrees C. So we can see it will 
we will not make the dopamine diffusion in, in into the depletion area. So it's it can make it can guarantee the device is good. Okay. So uh, our <coughs> this slide I will talk it, it will show the coupling coupling microwave mode uh, advantage advantage. If we do not the coupling, coupling microwave mode, the <coughs> the uniformity of microwave annealing is only uh, is uh, four point one percent. But if we use the coupling microwave modes, the uniformity will down to zero point five percent. So in semiconductor, the uniformity we only can accept the one percent. So in in, in our microwave annealing technology, the uniformity is only 0.5%. So our, our microwave, and microwave uh, annealing process uh, will get, uh, can get good, good um, uniformity, so which can meet the semiconductor industry criteria. Okay. So uh, in this slide, I will talk about the uh, consumable cost. Uh, compared to other companies, uh, uh, our microwave annealing, annealing system uh, can save uh, uh, around 85.6% for the con consumable cost. So, so it it's can save it really can save the the cost to maintain the microwave annealing system. So, in the final, I will talk about the the future development and the application potential. So, the first is for the chemi chemical synthesize. So, because some chemical can uh, can absorb the microwave energy, so it, it's will it can save the the energy. And the uh, uh, and the and, and the process time to synthesize a new chemical. Okay, so and then the second, uh, the for the powder powder metallurgy, because because you know um, in the future the the metal metal part will getting small and small, so it 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 also can use microwave to. Uh, to do the met to to do the met metallurgy, okay, and then the third uh, uh, for the carbon fiber because the carbon carbon can can absorb the microwave energy very well, so we, we also can use the microwave to to do to do uh, carbon fiber synthesize, and then for the solar cell, is also because the silicon and the CIGS uh, their chemical bonding. Can uh, are also are also uh, can also absorb the microwave energy, so it can decrease the uh, uh, annealing temperature temperature uh, for for uh, their crystallization. Okay, and uh, for LED, uh, for especially for micro LED, uh, it's near it's near the, the lower uh, annealing temperature, so uh, the micro, micro so the microwave annealing process is very, very suitable to to do the uh, LED annealing in the future. So, and um, of course the semicon silicon semiconductor because silicon is is a covalent bond, it can absorb the microwave energy very well. So, it's it can use it can use the microwave annealing uh, to to do the uh, device uh, annealing and it, which can make sure it can get a higher higher efficiency uh, in semiconductor industry. That's all. Thank you.